The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. I want to share with you a wild story. There was a young family who lived in Bnei Barak. Anyway, one day, they see outside their house, there's this old, decrepit guy sitting there like this, cold. He calls him and he says, look, you look like you haven't had a meal in a while. Why don't you come inside? I'll give you something to eat. The guy says, thank you so much, I can't believe it. He gives him a little food. The guy feels so good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The next day, 4 p.m., 5 p.m., the guy outside the house, again, welcome him in, have some food every day. 5 p.m., this became a thing. The guy comes, he has some sort of dinner by the house. Now, it starts to get a lot, but what are they going to tell the guy? He's hungry, he's outside. So they give him every day. A few years pass, and every day they have just adopted another mouth to feed, and they don't have that much money themselves. A few years go by, and this young family eventually has another child or two, and they decide they need to move to to an apartment that's a little bit bigger. And the husband sits and talks to his wife, and he says, listen, honey, you know, here's our chance to make a clean break from the guy who comes to dinner every night. His wife says, what do you mean? She says, well, he knows our address here. We don't got to tell him where we're forwarding our mail to. I'm not going to throw him out of the house, but when we move, we'll move and then someone else will pitch in and someone else will take care. It's not our responsibility to feed the guy dinner every day. The wife says, you know what, you're right. They move to their new apartment. Anyway, the wife is there, all getting settled in, comes dinner time, she's serving the dinner, she opens up one of the drawers, the wife lets out a scream that could wake the dead. Ah! Husband comes running into the room. Every husband in his life has had this experience. You come running in, you want to know who's dead, who did they elect to be the governor of New York? You want to find out what is the problem here? And it turns out it's like a mosquito or an ant, right? You know how you know those moments? Kill it, kill it! She has the drawer open. Inside the drawer is a scorpion. Scorpions can kill you. It has this murderous, poisonous sting on the back. Boom. Very fast. They're hard to kill, by the way. Akravim. She's freaking out. The husband takes all this time to finally gets rid of it. The next day, another one. The next day, another one. The next day, they have a plague of scorpions in their new apartment. The guy can't go. He's losing his mind. I don't know if anyone here has ever had an infestation that you can't get rid of. Right? It's a disaster. You st- it like takes a, a physical toll on you. You're flipping out. You have Some people can't get rid of mice. They can't get rid of moths. Or they can't get rid of, uh, you know, it's uh, cockroaches. It's, it's uh, like you think you're finally done. And then running across the... Yeah, any... <laughs> the woman, she can't catch the, the, the cockroach anymore, so she zaps her husband. The guy says to his wife, he says, this is, some, this is a little bit crazy. He goes, I'm going to go ask the rabbi. Goes to Rabbi Chaim Kanievsky. Sometimes I feel bad for the Gidolim, like, you know. <laughs> As he, all he just wants to do is learn. The guy, now he comes in his pest control, yeah, you know. <laughs> comes to the rabbi, he says, Rabbi, Dachilak, I'm sitting here in my apartment every day, scorpions, I don't know what's going on, I'm trying to get rid of it, I kill as many as I kill, there's always more, we can't find the source, no one understands what to do. Rabbi Chaim Kanias says, get me that book from on the shelf. Which book, he says, he can say, get me the book, it says over there, Perek Shira. What's Perek Shira? Perek Shira is a book, that says all the songs that all the animals, all the creations of this world, that they sing to God. And he gets the book. And he says, open up to Scorpion, Akrav. He opens up to Akrav. And he says, read me the Pasuk. What song is the song of the Scorpion? Matzeo Akrav, Omer. The Pasuk says, the Perek Shirad says, Akrav, Omer, the Scorpion says, Tob Adonai Lakol. God is good to all, and His kindness on all of those that He has done, all those that He's created. All of a sudden, the guy realizes it like a, you know, like a 10 foot, uh, what's it called? A 10 pound brick hits him in the head. Shema Israel. We moved here. We didn't tell the Aige. He goes running around B'nai Brak to find the guy. Finally, Baruch Hashem, he finds him. He says, I've been looking all over for you. He says, you have? He says, yeah. He goes, we wanted to invite you for dinner. They invite him for dinner. Immediately, the problem with the scorpion stop in his apartment. 
My friends, we operate in an impossible way. Prayer is here, someone gets better in the hospital. Mitzvot here, someone gets better with a tzedakah situation somewhere else. That's how we work, that's how we think, that's how we act. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. Stories to inspire.org.